Okay, first thing you want to do is download uh, Macro Droid from the App Store. And then once you got that downloaded, uh, open the app and you'll go to Macros and add a new macro down here in the bottom right. First thing we need is a trigger, so hit the plus button on the trigger there. And then you're going to go to MacDroid Specific and choose the notification bar button. Um, and then we have to configure the button, so just hit plus there. And you're going to look, I like the AFK Arena logo for my button, so just hit that. Okay, and then you got to reselect the notification bar button here and choose that icon you just selected. So now you have your trigger. We need to add the actions. First thing we'll do is create the loop so it can keep looping the battle. So conditions and loops here. And then do repeat actions while condition repeat. Select that, and then we're going to choose the app. So go to MacDroid specific here. Or sorry, go to device state. And application running. Running in foreground. Okay. And we'll choose AFK Arena once this pops up. Okay. And okay. So now we have our loop. We need to add our first action. And that'll be under MacDroid specific. And we'll scroll down to wait before next action. And we'll just choose four seconds. Okay, add another one. And this time we're going to do device actions, UI interaction. Click OK, and then XY location. Now this might vary depending on your phone, but if you have a 1080 screen, it should work for you. So hit OK. Choose 540 here. Do 18, oops, 1850 there. Perfect. And then we'll add another action. We're going to do MacDroid specific again. Down to wait before next action. Now this is how long it's going to wait before it retries the battle. So you might have to play around with this, but I like 45 seconds seems to be good. Okay. And then we'll add another UI, whoops, device actions, another UI interaction, same thing, click, XY location, this time we'll do 540, but instead for the Y axis do 1720, hit OK, and Then we need to rearrange everything inside the loop, so hit this button there and put wait 4 seconds, UI interaction, wait 45 seconds, and then the final UI interaction. And then hit this button right there again. And then we can just name it AFK Arena, go back, save it, and then you have a dumb ad. Now, now we should just be able to go open AFK Arena and then you're going to want to click begin and you want to get to the pre-battle screen here. Once you're on the pre-battle screen, open your notifications, hit that little AFK Arena icon we created. It'll wait about four seconds and start the battle. And then it's going to wait 45 seconds and just hit where the retry battle button should be. And during this part, I mean, you might want to like rearrange your characters, try to find the best layout, the layout you seem is going to work best, and then try starting the, uh, the macro and just let it run for, I let it run for hours sometimes. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Should try again here. And you can fast forward this part. I have a couple tips at the end to add to your macro that helps save battery. So there we go. Just click try again. It's going to wait four seconds. Begin battle. So anyways, um, one thing I have added to my macro here is 
uh, I turn the screen brightness down before it starts. So go screen brightness here, change it all the way to z 0%, hit OK, and then put that before the loop starts. That way it doesn't drain your battery while it's running the macro. Hit OK, and then I even, now another add. And then I even have it set up to change the brightness back to auto, which you can just add here. Go back to screen, brightness, auto brightness. And just rearrange that, or that's already, that's at the end of the loop. So once, once, so what it's going to do is when you close out of the, oh, okay, you have to add a constraint too. I forgot about that. So we'll go device state, application running, running in foreground, same thing. We want to select AFK Arena. So what this does is if you close AFK Arena, it won't keep that trigger going basically. It won't keep the, it'll stop the, the macro so it's not clicking random stuff on your screen. Um, and then when the macro is over, it'll change your brightness back to auto. So that's pretty much it.